What's up guys? It's Brittany and today I'm as promised unveiling two Harachi Nike sneakers today. The first pair is going to be the infamous Nike Air Harachi Flights Kobe Bryant PE editions and the other pair is just a regular pair of Nike Harachi shoes. So today I'm going to talk about the benefits of both shoes and the pros and cons of both shoes. So stay tuned for my review and watch. Hope you guys enjoy. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Now this next shoe, this is the Nike Air Harachi Flights. And as you can see, they are the Lakers colors. Um, I got mine in a youth size 6.5 or grade school 6.5. And these are infamous because Kobe Bryant played in these shoes on November 21st, I think 2003. And this game that he used these in was in the game where they, I think the Lakers played against the Chicago Bulls. So this shoe definitely had a lot of benefits and definitely helped Kobe win the game against the Bulls. I think, you know, him being a bomb player and the versatility of the shoe. So the first part of the shoe that is different from the average Harachi is, of course, if you get up close, you can see the bottoms. The bottoms, same kind of style, but flatter for balance. And then the uppers, leather uppers for protection. And it has this great feature right here that I think is dope. This is very important because typically Harachis would cut off like right about here, right about here. But they strategically put these ankle openings so it can create great movement, which I think Kobe used in that game specifically. So during this game in November, Kobe had like good stats. I believe he had 28 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists, 3 steals, and 1 block. So this shoe definitely had a lot of benefits. For starters the leather protection on the upper because regular harachis this part where the cutoff is would be cloth or fabric material okay so that i'm not saying that you couldn't play basketball in them but the regular harachis to me seem like they would be more for running training or just fashion purposes these you could wear for fashion purposes but I think that they're also good for basketball for the obvious reasons. The flat bottoms of the shoe, which is for balance. Then you have um, the leather uppers to protect your feet, of course. Not the regular fabric um, uppers like the regular Harachis might have. And then the ankle has the cutout features. So definitely check these out. I want to say... Me wearing these, these are very comfortable. They're not like the average Hirachi. And what I mean is the average Hirachi is like, it's a very tight, narrow fit. This is not that same narrow fit. It has like a, com like a comfort thing, similar to kind of like the Air Force Ones. So this is very comfortable. Like I don't have the same suffocation <laughs> like I do when I get with the regular Hirachis. Also... This one, um, definitely I would advise to wear maybe a thick pair of socks because of the ankle rubbing. Well, not the ankle rubbing, but the heel. This will hurt your ankle. I know it's supposed to be like freedom of movement, but this part kind of irritated my ankle. So that's the only con that I didn't like about the shoe. Everything else is dope. Like fashion purposes, I would give this a 5 out of 5. Basketball. I'm like, if Kobe won a game in these, then it's safe to say that these are probably good basketball shoes. Also, he's not the only player that has worn these before. A couple of players, um, like Chris Webber, a couple of players have worn these, just different colors um, specific to their team. So just check out the different colors that they have. These specifically are, of course, the Laker colors. They also have the black purple and gold as well so he also wore those in a game too which if I can find them I will do a review on those so let me show you 
the regular Harachis that I'm going to review. Now. Okay, guys, here we have my regular <clears throat> Harachis. I feel like I have the hiccups right now. We have my regular Harachis in the Nike signature colors. One of the colors first being the cool gray color. That's the signature Nike gray color. The uh, anthracite black in oatmeal. Now these these shoes. One irritation about the Harachis are they are this fabric part right here. The part that I said that was different from the flights this is very tight so if your foot is a little bit wider i don't know how you may feel with these shoes because my foot is like very skinny and i'm still like it's still like i have to loosen these strings all the way up for me to feel breathable and comfortable um i would not wear a pair of karate's all day they're not one of those comfy running shoes that you could wear all day. Like, it just depends on the person's foot, I guess. But it's just, it's like suffocation. And it's like, I've tried many different sizes with these. It's just like this shoe is a snug, the fabric material is a snug shoe. Now, I would say these look dope with all different types of outfits, especially skinny jeans. Um, these definitely looked different online. Oh, that's just like a shadow, but that's definitely something. These definitely looked different online when I saw them. Like this, I thought was more of a beige color, this oatmeal color. It actually looks like a champagne or a gold color in person. So let me show you the back. So you have the gray at the back. This is like a dope color combination. Like. All the neutral colors that you love all together. The black, the beige, the cool gray. Perfect complement. Like, perfect. So, here's the box that it came in. And these are from Finish Line. Um, these are the Women's Air Hirachi Run. And I guess these are running shoes. As I said, these are different from the flights. And this is in an 8.5. And you can see the color. The color that I was talking about, the cool gray, the anthracite, and the oatmeal color. And if you're in the UK, hi my UK subbies, this is a size 6 for you guys. So, I don't know which one I kind of like best. If you get close, there's kind of like texture. So, normal Hirachis, all of them don't have this texture. It's kind of like a, I want to say it's like a little crocodile looking texture or some type of animal texture but it's definitely like a dope look the bottoms um on all my harachis they get these little and these are like fairly new they get these little crease things but they kind of smooth out i don't know if it's from the rubbing i thought something was wrong with them at first until i started wearing them but that's you know i have like three pairs so i guess that's normal for this shoe but definitely check these out. These tend to be a little bit on the pricier side, guys, even if you're trying to get it in um, kids' sizes. So you definitely have to catch Finish Line or Foot Locker when they're having their little flash sales that they do. But definitely check these out. I would give these maybe a 3 out of 5 only because of the snug fit <laughs> and it's not comfortable to wear all day I guess this would be a running shoe that you would just run with and just kind of take off but they are dope fashion shoes as well so if you can find your really proper fit or your really great fit definitely check these out and okay so let me show you a comparison of what I was talking about with the flights so this is the flight and this is the Harachi run this is the run and this that's my sock in the shoe but totally different <laughs> basketball when it's for running but there's two like dope shoes like so definitely check these out and I'll i hope you guys found my review informative um let me know what shoes that you want me to try on or you want me to um review and i'll definitely get back to you i'm definitely going to have a review on 
a oldie but goodie, a classic, which is the Reebok Men CL GL 3000s. And I'm going to let you guys um, see the different outfits that I put together with my sneakers and um, how girls will wear the outfits. Because I see a lot of guys doing sneakers on YouTube. So I'm just going to show you how girls will put the outfits together and what a female sneakerhead would do with the outfits. So I'm Brittany Raquel. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I am out.